Okay, I came across an interesting problem. It's one over log base eight of n plus one over log base n of one quarter is equal to minus five over two. And they want you to solve for n, all right? <coughs> what they want n though, I hope you realize that certainly you studied logs in Math 119. Well, let's go for it. Let's just see if we can do it, all right? So the one thing I'd recommend to you to do over here is to get in the same base. And I noticed that they got an eight and a quarter. So I'm saying this has something to do with base two. And I'm gonna write, I'll write them separately. I'll write this down for you. Log base eight of N using the base change formula that you learned about in Math 119, and it was derived in 119, is gonna be log base two of n over log base two of eight. Well, this is log base two of n, and log base two of eight, that's two cubed, it would just be three. So this first term, quite easy. What is it gonna be? Three over log base two of n. Now let me repeat what we just did over there. Let me get my highlighter out. We looked at this. I wrote that down. I used the base change formula and I got this. What's this thing? It's a reciprocal. So that's all I did. I wrote the reciprocal down. So it's three over log base two of n. Let's go to the next one. And the next one is gonna be log base n of a quarter. You can write that slightly differently. Log. You know what, let me get my um, eraser out. I get to make it a little bit neater. <coughs> let me write it over here. So log base n of one quarter. I'm gonna write this as log base n two to the minus two. I'm gonna use the base change formula. I'm gonna write it as a base two problem. So log base two two to the minus two over log base two of n. Well, the top, let's see if I got that right. I'm sorry, it, that doesn't look like I'm, I gotta get my eraser right again. I, my penmanship is awful sometimes. This is just simply minus two over log two base n. All right? So I guess we could write that down. And that's just a reciprocal, right? So I'll point out what I mean by that. What we just did was I did this. That's all I did. I got this. And now what I want to do is take the reciprocal of it. And let me write that down for you. So it's going to be plus. Let's write the reciprocal down. It's going to be log base 2n over minus 2. What you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna erase this thing over here and just put minus here then, and a two there, and this is gonna be equal to minus five over two. All right? Okay, so I think I, um, I did some groundwork over here, and I wanna, I just wanna erase this stuff that I don't need anymore. I don't need this. I don't need this. That's all done. Now, what I like to do is, it looked kinda of complicated to me, I'll be honest with you, but at least I got something that I can make it look simpler. And what I'm gonna put up here is I, I'm gonna let you, and this is something you learned about in Math 119 as well, you make a substitution when you see something difficult. I'm just gonna say u is equal log base two of n. So it's gonna be three over u minus u over two equals minus five over two. And what I'm gonna do is multiply both sides of this equation by two u. And what do you get there? You're gonna get six minus u squared equals minus five u. Well, this is quadratic in form, so it's u squared minus five u 
minus six. I'm gonna factor that. That's gonna be u, u. It looks like what? It looks like one and six, right? And minus six plus one. So u is minus one or u is equal to six. Let's not celebrate too quickly. What's u? It's log base two of n. So this is log base two, <coughs> excuse me, of n equals minus one or u is log base two of n equals six. Well, logs are kind of hard to look at, so I'm gonna write as an exponential. So what's n gonna be equal to? n will equal two to the minus one or n would equal two to the sixth power. What does that give you? n equals one half or n is equal to, well, let's see, two to the six, let's see if we can figure that. Two times two is four, eight, 16, 32, 64. Got two answers now. Thank you. Oh, by the way, I am going to, I'm going to look at Sage. Thank you so much.